There are three ways to create the list of materials for an e-order. This video demonstrates QuickDraw. The first thing to do is select a fence height. I'll choose 48 inch. This blue dot signifies where the fence will start. Click and drag it to move the starting point. To enter the footage for a stretch, you can click the numbers on the keypad on the screen or use the keypad on your keyboard. I'll enter a footage of 50 and then click this arrow so the program knows which direction to draw the line. Notice you can draw 45 degree lines also. I'll enter another stretch. If you entered an incorrect stretch measurement or direction, you can click this undo button. As you can see, it keeps removing the previous stretch each time you click it. I'll just draw the same layout back in. To add a gate, click the gate icon. There are two types of gates to choose from. Choose Assembled Gate if you need to purchase a gate. Choose User Fabricated if you plan to fabricate your own gate or if you have a gate but need to order the gate post hinges and latches. There will not be a gate on the list of materials if you choose User Fabricated. The reason this option needs to be here is so you can spec the gate posts and hardware and those items will be included in the order. I'll choose an assembled gate, single. I can narrow down the choices with these filter menus. I want one and three A's and galvanized. And I look for the four foot wide gate that I want and click select gate. Click a directional arrow to place the gate in the drawing. If you need more gates, click the gate icon again and add the additional gates. I'll finish entering my layout. I want to return to my starting point. I could figure out the footage needed to do that, but there is an easier way. You can click on Close Path and the program automatically figures the amount of footage to return to the starting point. Of course, this only applies if you need to enter an enclosed layout. Notice some tools at the top. You can zoom in, zoom out, or fit to screen. When you are finished entering the layout, click Get Quote. You can print a copy of the materials list for your records. When you click the printer icon, the program automatically creates a PDF file. When you are ready to place your order, click the e-order button. Choose your order type, delivery or pickup. and your requested delivery or pickup date. If you choose delivery, you can change the shipping address. When you are ready, click the Submit button and a Merchants Metals representative will contact you to confirm your order.